so we've currently got the big uh, piece of wall that is going to go here and then there's going to be a long window that goes over the top of it and then there's going to be another piece like this one that overhangs on this side and this is where my loft is going to go up here coming along quite nicely got the bathroom up the back bathroom window we got my kitchen it's going to be along here behind we've got the kitchen window this bit of framing is going to go on this back wall here um, I'm going to have my stairs going up here to my loft, which will be up top. That's a loft window, sleeping. On this side, we've got my lounge will be along here. And then some big double glazed windows um, here. One tip for building a tiny house is you're going to be doing a lot of work on it. So finding some place to build it where it's shady is definitely a must. If you can do it in a big covered shed, that's perfect because you're protected from all weather. But for me, I've just found this section with lots of trees. So even in the middle of the day, it's nice and shaded and we can work um, without overheating. lined it up perfectly with this corner and we went along but on this edge there was a little bit of a gap you can see just there that we just couldn't get them flush as we wanted to get them so we just had to make do with it having that little bit of a gap but it has meant that on this very end we've got a little bit of an overhang of the same amount as the gap down there so these steel are like it's all made exactly to size in a machine so it's all perfect so if there's any leeway in terms of gaps and stuff like that you it'll be like that you can't adjust it like you can with wood but the great thing about steel is that it all comes you know in this flat pack so you can just whip it up super fast um, and then you've got a whole frame ready to start putting in windows and cladding and all that kind of good stuff instead of having to build out the wood, you know, as you go type thing. So it's a great feeling to just slap up walls and drill them in and they're ready to go straight away. But you do have to deal with not being able to be flexible with it. So if there's any little mistakes like that little gap, I can't fix it. I just have to build around it or live with it. So that's one thing about steel. You just have to... Uh, take into consideration if you're doing it in steel versus wood. Just a little note with putting up the walls. So a lot of tiny houses put down the floor first before they put up the walls. And this is really good for having a platform to work on. It's really easy to walk on it and all that kind of good stuff. But it does mean that usually if the floor goes on first then the walls go on top of the floor so that if you need to repair the floor for whatever reason say there's like a you know water leak or the washing machine leaks or it gets flooded or something like that and you've got to you know replace the boards the boards underneath the wall so it's really hard to access them where with this style by having the walls directly onto the floor the joist it means that when the floor comes up it'll just butt up against that so if you need to replace any boards for whatever reason it'll be a lot easier to do that but in the meantime you still need to walk around the floor so it's highly recommended you to get a couple of pieces of plywood um, and so we've got two bits of ply and we've just been shuffling them around to whatever spot to be able to walk on it to lift walls or walk around or things like that so we're not trying to hop jump on all of these uh, beams so that's one good note, is to make sure you have a few bits of ply to help you walk on the floor before you've got a floor down. Oh. 
All right, so the current struggle is we've got this big blue beam which needs to go above the window. So I'll be notching into this little corner here and into this little corner way up here. So the beam's supposed to go along that span, but it's super heavy. So now we're just trying to figure out how we can maybe build a platform up there to be able to lift the beam up or a pulley system or something to be able to lift it that high to get it on there to be able to screw it down. So that's one of the issues we're trying to figure out at the moment. But we've got all four walls on, which is sweet all the way along. So now it's nice and braced the whole way along. Because we didn't have the right uh, drill bit to drill into the corners to secure them with uh, screws, for this week while we're away, I'm just going to uh, gaffer tape up the, the joins and the corners uh, just to make sure they've got that extra support so if there's any strong winds uh, until we get it fixed it won't be a problem so just gap taped up different corners down the end there and different walls and corners just where the joins are uh, just to be sure comes very handy.